Hi, it's Carolyn here, and I am excited to share with you some new fabric. It shouldn't be a surprise, but I love grids. There's something really nice about clean lines and repetition, and to me, grids perfectly epitomize that. Plus, once you get a good grid on fabric, it's really fun to cut it up and piece it into your projects. Grids can add a nice structure to piecing, as well as a great contrast to curvy shapes and applique. So this is my newest group of fabrics, my grid group. And what I've done is taken some of my favorite grid-like fabrics from my previous collections and reimagined them in a whole new way. And I reimagined them with a very specific color theme, or actually a lack of color. These 12 new SKUs are all in grayscale. When I'm teaching a color class, one of my favorite points to make to my students is how you can exaggerate the variety and nuance in a fabric pull when you reduce the color palette down to a very narrow range. Doing this has a magical way of emphasizing subtlety and variation in a really beautiful way. It makes it fun to see more color in whatever you are working with. That's exactly what I was thinking when I put this collection together. Even though this is a grayscale palette, together these 12 pieces feel really colorful to me, and they really come to life in projects. So not only did I imagine this group as one that can work well together with um, a really wide variety of lights to darks in this 12-piece collection, but it's also a collection that features a bunch of like really useful neutrals. And these neutrals can be, you know, used, like I said, together on their own, or they can be pulled out and placed into so many different other color palettes as well. My projects to follow show how I mixed and matched these fabrics together in some really fun ways. Let's take a look. I've really been craving a new applique project, and as I mentioned earlier, I love mixing grid fabrics and curves. Opposites truly do attract, and they can complement each other in some really magical ways. This design is based on a rainbow. It's a simple curve with repeated layers that can be arranged in different ways. Mix it with fabric and you get a really dynamic design with loads of potential. This is a new pattern that I'll be releasing this spring. Um, it's really great for beginners. You have soft concave and convex curves uh, that are repeated block to block, which gives you really great practice. That simplicity mixed with fabric means it can keep your creative self engaged and satisfied. I have about 50 more ideas for ways I wanna take this design. Uh, the design works easily with fat quarters or fat eighths. I know how a good stack of pre-cuts can really suck you in, and this is a project that can make use of them really well. I've used all of the 12 new fabrics in this project. I used 11 of them as the applique shapes, so each of the different rainbows, and then the final 12th fabric I used as the background. I chose this medium gray as the fabric for the background, and I really like how it makes both the light and the dark fabrics pop. It's hand quilted in black thread in a diagonal grid because grids don't have to stop with the fabric. It's fun to think in layers with any design and motif. Ariel was one of my very first foundation paper pieced patterns, and I've wanted to revisit it many times over the years. With this new collection, I knew it was the right time to do it. The original cover quilt was made with a plethora of colors, which is one of the reasons I think that the quilt is so captivating. So to revisit it now, I knew that I could make something just as exciting in a much more narrow color range. This quilt is made with two new roll-ups that go along with this collection. One features the collection itself, plus some other black and gray and white grids from my existing collection CF. That's one roll-up. The other roll-up set is all Kona cotton solids that I picked. Um, in a full grayscale range, from very light colors to black. So working from these roll-ups not only gives you a ton of options, but it makes for a really entertaining project to put together because you're constantly thinking about different fabric combinations to put together within each block. And since you have so many different fabrics to choose from, it's almost like they are limitless. No two blocks in this project are the same. So like I said, this is a uh, pattern that's in my existing pattern line. It is called Aerial. It is foundation paper pieced, and it is a great beginner project for foundation paper piecing. My Spools Quilt is a, another project that was really fun to um, conceive of in this new grayscale and gridded color range. Um, the project itself is based on a spool of thread. This pattern features basic piecing skills. Spools can be made using a charm pack or in the case of this project, I use the fat quarter bundle of the new grid group. 
My spools project is definitely one of my favorites, and it's one of those projects that I kind of forget how cute the spools are until I am finished with my first block after a little time away. The background for this uh, project is a really fun choice. I used one of the new Konashin fabrics. Um, it has a little bit of a shine to it, and so when you look at the pieces to the light, you can kind of see a little bit of a glimmer. And then just for fun, for a little added interest, I decided to intentionally make use of that wrong side so that there are these little areas of matte color spread throughout the shininess. And it's a really fun effect, I think. What I also like about this background choice is that you'll see I've, you know, in this case, I'm deviating a little bit from the grayscale selection. This piece of fabric is a little bit green, it's a little bit taupey, and so just because this is a grayscale collection, you can absolutely punch it up with a little bit of color or something else that you might be interested in, and I think it works really well. <laughs> this is my Ray Gray quilt, and Ray is using a free pattern that is available on my website. I also have um, a full series of tutorials on my YouTube channel walking you through each step of this project. It's a really great project for picking up basic skills. This version is really kind of a color study, um, like many of the Ray quilts can be. I used the coloring page to map out the fabrics I wanted to use, going from lighter colors in the center and then working to the darkest fabrics on the outside. And then on two sides of the quilt, so the right and left, those are using the printed fabrics in my new collection. And then on the top and bottom sections, I used exclusively new um, fabrics from the Kona Sheen collection. So again, the Kona Sheen is, uh, it's a really neat quilting cotton weight fabric with kind of a shiny side and then the wrong side has a mat to it. Um, there are some really great gray options. And so I used those to kind of complement the grays that are in this collection. I also made a quilted vest uh, this is made using the Pearl Soho quilted vest pattern. Neutral colors are not only easy to work into your quilts, but they are also easy to work into your wardrobe. Thinking about that and how much gray seems to work with many things that I wear, I wanted to make this quilted vest. It's both cozy to wear and then very fun to make. Here I used two fabrics from my new collection and I quilted them together by hand in this rust colored thread. Again, this collection is ready for a fun accent. Let's finish with something really fun. Pin cushions are such a fun sew. They're one of those low commitment projects that can pay off in big ways. You can either test out new fabric and color combos that you're thinking about. You can make something that you would actually use, or it's a perfectly giftable project that you can give to a friend. With a pin cushion project, you can also practice embroidery, hand quilting, or other embellishment techniques in a super small format. Um, it's a great way to use unused blocks, fabric scraps or whatever. These pin cushions are all made from my crew pin cushion pattern, which features 11 different pin cushions that you can make in a variety of different sizes, variety of different styles. So it's really fun to work your way through it. I use pin cushions for a lot of different things. Um, I used, I mean, different size needles fit best in different size pin cushions and also different sized pin cushions fit differently in different spots in my sewing room. For, so for example, I really like a skinny pin cushion by my machine, and I like a super small pin cushion by where I'm doing a lot of hand sewing. I'm also a really big fan of using these pin cushions as pattern weights when I'm cutting out a garment pattern. The variety of sizes and shapes come in super handy whether you are cutting out something small or large. As always, these projects are just a start. I always like to think of my collections as part of a continuum. So this collection is one that I definitely think will work well with the collections that I've come out with previously. And it's also a collection that I know will work well with pieces that I'll come out with in the future. This collection fills some gaps for me that I think are really fun to put to use. There's nothing more fun than for me to see everyone making these connections and putting fabric, my fabrics together in different ways. This collection will be shipping in September and I cannot wait to see what everyone makes. Thanks so much and happy sewing.